Our next film is Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, probably the last film in the series with the original cast. I have a feeling it's all set up. There's going to be the new generation in number seven. When the film works best is when we simply see this familiar group of characters together in a series of close-ups. You know what? They like each other. We like them for that, and you can't fake that. The story this time, a Russian-American parable with Earth forces finally reaching out to the reeling, evil Klingon Empire, and the Star Trek crew reluctantly escorts them to a peace conference. But Captain Kirk objects strongly. There is an historic opportunity here. Don't believe them. Don't trust them. They are dying. Kirk, you'll recall, lost a son in combat with the Klingons, but he swallows his anger and talks turkey dinner, that is, with the Klingon boss. The undiscovered country. The future. The undiscovered country. Hamlet, Act Three, Scene One. You have not experienced Shakespeare until you have read him in the original Klingon. Naturally, trouble pops up when a Klingon ship is fired upon. The Klingons suspect it's Kirk's revenge and bring him to trial. I offer into the record this excerpt from the captain's personal log. I've never trusted Klingons. And I never will. I've never been able to forgive them for the death of my boy. There are lots of nice sentiments in this story. Shakespeare is quoted liberally, and I'm sure the story is very important to Trekkies. For me, I didn't mind it a bit, which is more than I can say about a lot of the pictures in this series. I've kind of grown to like these characters in all their silly outfits. When the picture ends, and they have a close-up, 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 I like them. And all the signatures of the yeah. cast coming yeah. across the screen. Of course, after six of these movies, you probably should know that it's Trekkers, not Trekkies, you know and what? that they really get offended when you make that mistake. I know that it's Trekkers. And, and I you put just Trek deliberately thought you'd get it no, wrong. I don't want... No? I actually said, you know what? They can't tell me what to call them. Okay, so you call them Trekkies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed the picture, too. And uh, it's a strange thing because of these six movies. One, three, and five were bad. Two, four, and six were good. It's, uh, maybe there shouldn't be a number seven because on this uh, track record, it's not going to be a good one. But uh, it does have that elegiac feeling of conclusion there. They've been around for a long time. They've been on television and in the movies together on the Enterprise for 25 years. They know each other. We know them. Uh, the parallels between the Klingons and the Russians are part of this yeah. uh, thing that they always do where they find some contemporary political reference and put it into the future, and I enjoyed it on that basis. I really did. It's a nice movie.